Hello guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD, and we've got some more brand new Moon news. So this is screenshots from the new Inside Xbox video. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show the video, but we're going to show screenshots so we can pinpoint exactly what there is. So here's Area 51. We start out on the map. There's obviously a dog there, and as we can see, there's a crap load of zombies and dogs. And what I believe is you first spawn out in this uh, Area 51, and uh, you have to... F uh, stay for as long as you can survive here we can see Rick Toffin wearing the same outfit he did in Ascension so this can this leads on to the conspiracy that this map is after Ascension and as you can see it's just the more interior of what it looks like once you walk onto the area with the massive teleport and here we can see there we've got sleight of hand now if I show you a separate screenshot from a different bit of gameplay of Moon we can see that there was Juggernaut there so that confirms that the perks do move around it's like Shangri-La this time and the perks move around, which is kind of interesting. And uh, it spices up the gameplay a little more. So here we actually get back onto Moon, and it says you survived 1 minute 37. And like I said before, I think it's the fact that you try and survive for as long as you can in Area 51 on Earth, and then you get teleported back to Moon. As you can see, there is the space suit helmet, uh, which shows you can purchase it straight from when you spawn in the game, when you get to the moon, of course. And then we have the round number. And as you can see, when you go into uh, Area 51, there is no round. So it's basically a little survival mini mode in a way. So as you can see, there's a quick revive, which again tells us this is the spawn room of where we're going to spawn. And uh, the on round 13 at the moment, the ray gun there. And uh, as we can see here, um, I've touched on this in another video the uh blue um portal kind of a uh, thing on the bottom of the floor it lets you float upwards and downwards onto uh different levels of the map so it you, there's no point of going upstairs there's this low gravity so of course you'll be able to just jump through it and be able to get back into this top level where the uh where the where you actually start off and spawn so interesting that the perks move and it's going to add a spice to the gameplay as we can see, we've got a mystery box location in the spawn. As usual, they always do have a, a mystery box in the spawn room. So that is always handy. But as many of you know, the mystery box isn't going to be there when you first start up the game. So anyway, here we've got some more screenshots of Area 51. Again, it's just a zombie and uh, it is... There's kind of it's kind of weird how there's like uh, water everywhere. They have to kind of explain that. As you can see, there's the pack a punch machine, which is why anyone would want to return to Area 51 once you're in Moon. Now here in this screenshot here, we've got um we've got a brand new zombie boss. I made a video on it yesterday, but what I believe is that. Uh, you either one of the players gets infected and uh, becomes this sort of zombie that goes to attack your players and if you get attacked by this zombie what it does is it will teleport you somewhere on the map and it will also steal your perks which is a kind of a bummer but what this also could be is it could also just be a zombie that impersonates one of your players and pretends to be one but as you can see the name um, the player name is in red and uh, yeah it, it's just really really weird and we'll have to see how Treyarch managed to pull that one off as you can see, once you just, once you kill it, it just has a massive explosion, kind of like that, and it propels any player nearby it, it just pushes them backwards. Here we've got the new moon jumping pads, and as you can see, there is uh, one directly below here, and another one on the side, So that and there's four in total. You'll see another screenshot in a second, but it's just an interesting way of getting around the biodome here. And uh, there we go, we see uh, three over there, you can see we're directly under one now. And this really interesting screenshot coming up here. Now we know that you can get three guns. Now what is that floating there? What is that? If we zoom in here, you can see that that is a ray gun drop. So as you've seen before in gameplay when there was a spaz 12 dropped and the person could pick it up. Well there we go, there is a ray gun power up now. So you can get a ray gun by just picking it up, which is absolutely awesome. So maybe with the free gun perk, uh, you have to wait for a, a weapon dropped in order to get free weapons, or it could just work out as you can just buy another gun off the wall and it will add to your uh, inventory of having free guns, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, we move on here, and as you can see, the QED device, many of you know what this is now, but if you look in the invent, you can see it looks like a Gersh device icon. So that it's kind of weird because I've seen gameplay of people using the QED and it hasn't had the Gersh device icon next to the grenades 
which is a, a bit weird. But anyway, as you can see the player's wearing the helmet. And uh, that's the equipment in the top right. And we're going to move on to some new equipment here. And uh, on the map somewhere, you can pick up a piece of hacking equipment. Now, this is really interesting as it takes away your helmet um, equipment option on up on the D-pad. Now, what this hacking thing does, we're not too sure yet. But as you'll see coming up in a second with the screenshot, you're able to go up to a gun on the wall and you can hack it, which is really interesting. And by hacking the gun, uh, what I think it will do is it will either let you dual wield that gun or if you haven't got that gun already, it will let you get it for free. But I can't see how you could hack everything in the uh, in the game because it would just be really unfair, wouldn't it? Just, just, just be getting all these different guns for free. So uh, that we'll have to see what Treyarch um, come up with that when we, uh, when we actually get to play it. But that is really interesting stuff. But uh, you can see the 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 gun is turned upside down, so that could that's my suspicions on why it's a dual wield gun. But we'll just have to see when uh when we find out and play the game, of course. But here you go, you can see it up on the D-pad really briefly. That's what the hacking equipment looks like. It's just like a kind of square box kind of thing. And uh, yeah, that's just really interesting. And here we've been seeing loads of pyramids. As you can see, there's a teleporter up there. This has definitely got something to do with the Easter egg. Triangles equal Illuminati. I'm not trying to speculate here, but as you can see, there's a weird circle uh, dome thing under it as well. And that is definitely going to play a key with either getting to Area 51 or a potential uh, Easter egg. So here's the power switch. And again, we've got another teleporter. Um, this is just the same teleporter we looked at. But it is kind of weird how the teleporter is up on the uh, ceiling rather than on the floor. And if you've noticed in the Area 51 pictures, as you can see there, round 12. So they've teleported back. Obviously, the players want to pack a punch. But the, uh, the teleporter, uh, the actual, like... The actual teleporter circle, it is massive in Area 51. I don't understand why they need it to be that big. And there's the pack a bunch clearly behind uh, some cages right there. So that's all we've got so far from this new Inside Xbox uh, screenshots. I would upload the gameplay, but due to copyright issues, I don't want to get in trouble. So that's all we've got for this uh, video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, I suggest you do so so you can keep yourself up to date with all the news that you need about resurrection and zombies. I'll have gameplay of Moon on day one, as well as loads of tips and tricks and, of course, a massive Easter egg guide. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. And if you have subscribed, then thank you very much. I've been Mr. Dalek JD, and until my next video, I'll see you soon. So until then, peace! No dice, no cash, no drink, no women, no booze, nothing.